So I just had a, had a short observation here that I thought I'd share with you all. Have you noticed that in the last six to eight months there's been a real push to label people as our media does? Uh, one of them that they've come up with is preppers, right? We all know this term that if you're if you're prepared for the end of the world or for martial law or these kind of things that you know you're 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 crazy. You're a conspiracy theorist, you're a prepper, those kind of things. So I'm sitting here watching all the footage from Sandy, listening to it on the way home on NPR and uh, you know on Sirius Radio and these things. And what struck me is that most of the people kept saying well, we don't have hot food, we don't have water, we don't have clean clothes, we don't have all the things, all the basic services that we need as people to survive. Where is the government? Where is FEMA? Where is the Red Cross? I mean, everybody's starting to point the finger already, you know. And this is, it speaks exactly to what I am about to talk about. Every square inch of this nation has das disaster potential. Whether you live on the west coast because there's earthquakes and mighty big earthquakes, whether it's the San Andreas, the Cascadia Slip Fault, or up in Alaska, we have serious freaking earthquakes on the west coast. Then there's the tornadoes. Anywhere that you get a thunderstorm, you can have a tornado. And I think if you live in the Midwest, which I have before, you know what can, tornadoes can do. Uh, there's hurricanes. I don't think we need any more proof on what a hurricane can do. Thank you, Katrina, you know, Andrew, Sandy. Um, there's, there's not blizzards in the northwest, in the northeast, I mean. You know, there's not one square inch in this country that is not prone to a disaster at one point or another. If you're not prepared for a disaster, you're a fool. I don't think I'm going to get a 9.0 earthquake sitting in Corvallis, Oregon, but you know what? We could. I seriously doubt that Ohio, that, you know, Brimington, Alabama is going to get wiped off the face of the earth because of an F5. But it could. We're still in hurricane season. What happens if there's another hurricane and it hits New York, New Jersey, the Carolinas? If you're not prepared to survive on your own for a week with your own food and water and supply of heat and a way to cook food, a way to sterilize water, you're an idiot. It doesn't take much work. You spend about 45 minutes, go spend about 50 bucks. I'm not going to make a video on what I've got down in my storage unit. There are great videos out there on YouTube you can find. You know, just search it up, put it in a little box, you know, and you'll find it. It just, it amazes me that all the people that have been poking fun at us are now the same people that are asking for government help. Oh, but well, that's right. They're the same people that want to cut the government down. Not saying that I don't, but it's a strange dichotomy, isn't it? Something else that, that I think is interesting is that they have had a few interviews with people that are doing all right. They've got generators and they've got gas, they've got food. In fact, so much, there are people that are helping their neighbors out because they're so well set. Yeah, they're preppers. They're people that think people that look ahead, people that see potential and go for it. Whether that potentials are good or bad, that's not the point. You know, Voldemort did great things. Terrible, but they were great. So, be prepared. Because you never know when it's going to happen. It could happen tomorrow. It might not happen at all. Probably not. If you're not prepared for it, you're a fool. And I gotta go feed Yoshi. As a nation, we began by declaring that all men are created equal. We now practically read it, all men are created equal except Negroes. Soon, it will read, all men are created equal except Negroes and foreigners and Catholics. When it comes to this, I should prefer emigrating to some country where they make no pretense of loving liberty. To Russia, for instance, where despotism can be taken pure and without the base alloy of hypocrisy, Abraham Lincoln.